Good evening again and welcome to the annual point in time count for the District of Columbia. Point in time count is an annual survey and count of homeless individuals and families in the district. I'm going to be really, really brief and recognize our partners, the community partnership, and I'm Sue Marshall, director of the community partnership, is responsible for conducting the count and reporting the outcomes to the federal government. However, this is a highly collaborative initiative that depends on all of our partners in the continuum of care. I'd like to take a moment to recognize a few of them as representative of everyone in the room. From Pathways to Housing, Christine L. Wells, Sandra Flores, Hunter Scott, and Stephanie Lyons. From the Transitional Housing Corporation, Lisa Ramsapool, Capitol Hill Group Ministries, Whitney Parnell. I want to start by saying the district's continuum has enjoyed incredible support from a number of public and private partners, especially the federal government and our local government. I want to acknowledge representatives of the federal government, starting with Sean Donovan, who is the director of the Office of Management and Budget. <laughs> and as the former secretary of HUD is very, very familiar with this process and has participated with us consistently. Thank you. We also have Nani Coloretti, the deputy secretary of HUD, Bill Kaur, the Deputy Secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services. Chris Liu, who is the Deputy Secretary of the Department of Labor. Maura Sullivan, who is the Assistant Secretary for the Department of Veterans Affairs. Last and certainly not least, Dan Tangerlini, who is the administrator for the General Services Administrator and our past city administrator. <laughs> Along with that incredible federal support, we have enjoyed consistent support and partnership from our local government. And we are represented this evening by a strong contingent led by our mayor. Honorable Mayor Muriel Bowser. <laughs> mayor Bowser came into the role of mayor following an incredible run on the city council where she was known for speaking for fairness, inclusion, and equity. She has committed and recommitted the government to ending homelessness and particularly focusing on affordable housing. Amen. I certainly cannot call every name for everybody here from district government and the Bauer, Bowser administration. Mayor Bowser is joined by the Deputy Mayor for Health and Human Services, Brenda Donald. Laura Zeilinger, who is the director of the Department of Human Services. <laughs> Polly Donaldson, who is the director of the Department of Housing and Community Development. <laughs> All of whom have firsthand knowledge and experience and the confidence of those of us who operate the district's continuum of care. We are also joined by Council Member Alexander, Alexander <laughs> Ward 7 representative and the chair of the Committee on Human Services, which has Health and Human Services. Health and Human Services. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> and we also have Council Member Alyssa Silverman at large Council. <laughs> And last but not least, we have this incredible room full of all of you all who volunteer for this effort.
this is an incredibly important effort. We are data driven as we have been mandated by the mayor. What you are doing is creating data upon which our policies will be developed. Yes. <laughs> so without further ado, it is my pleasure to present to you Mayor Muriel Bowser. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, good evening, everybody. I'm going to try to speak up because I see the last person in the back. You can hear me great. And I want to thank Sue and I want to thank all of you for being here tonight for what is uh, very important uh, for our city. And data is important. Knowing how uh, we're going to help more people in the District of Columbia really achieve uh, what so many people are enjoying, and that's prosperity. But none of us can be proud of how our city is growing or progressing in so many ways when so many people are left out of that progress. Um, and that is certainly what I have directed our administration to focus on. Uh, people from around Washington, D.C. have said that they want to make sure that every corner of our city, every person in our city has a pathway um, to really uh, enjoying what can happen in Washington, from schools to housing uh, to what the middle class offers. Uh, when I set out to create our administration, to get a fresh start in so many ways, I knew I wanted to attract people who shared my vision for ending homelessness in the District of Columbia once and for all. And when we think about, yes. I know that, that many of you have been working long and hard on the issue and sometimes it seems so big, um, but really in our city, we have a problem that can be solved with the right commitment, with the right resources, and with the right people working hard every day. So I want to thank you, Sue, for acknowledging um, the staff that, that we have been able to attract. Mr. Director, thank you. Uh, and I, I want, you may have thought, because a lot of people think you have to be a woman to work for the Bowser administration. <laughs> and while it helps, uh, we, we have a lot of great men working for us, too. And I want to uh, introduce you to one of them, who's the city administrator. Rashad Young has joined us. Many of you know already my Deputy Mayor for Health and Human Services, Brenda Donald. We had the great opportunity to recruit a woman to work on all of our affordable housing issues. Um, her specialty has been in transitional housing and helping people exit for homelessness. And she's going to be responsible for getting on the street $100 million every year for affordable housing. And that's Polly Donaldson. <laughs> And then I, I, I was interviewing a lot of people and I had the opportunity to ask a woman, I said, you know, can we afford to go back to housing first policies in the District of Columbia? Uh, and she said to me, Mary Lett, we can't afford not to. And that is when I knew uh, that I had to find a way to get Laura Zeilinger and our staff, and she's going to lead up DHS for us. I also want to introduce to you uh, Reverend Donald Isaac, who will lead up our religious affairs um, department in, in the city. And he, too, has a specialty with marrying the faith community with the development of affordable housing. So you're going to hear this theme in the Bowser administration for the next four years. And I want to introduce Reverend Donald Isaac to you. So you, you know the scope of the problem, that one in five of every D.C. household is spending more than 50 percent of their income on housing. And when you have that, when that's the case, 
you know many people are in danger of losing their homes. So that is why we're committed every day to really working on building more affordable housing units and exiting people out of homelessness. We are very concentrated, and certainly Laura brings um, to our city a focus on ending veteran homelessness. I was with the president just the other day, where cities all over our nation are ending homelessness for veterans. We're going to end chronic homelessness in our city. We're focused on family homelessness in our city, and we know we can do it. It's great when you can call the OMB director to your city. <laughs> and, and he has the experience of working in housing and community development. And I too want to acknowledge um, the deputy secretaries from HUD and from the Department of Labor, Nanny Coraletti and Chris Liu, and thank the president for his partnership in the District of Columbia. We have a big task ahead of us. We have many smart people working on it. And we are so grateful to have at the city council partners who will help us realize, and I'm, you're going to hear me say this a lot, $100 million every year in affordable housing. So I am grateful that this issue has the attention of the, the chairwoman, Yvette Alexander from Ward 7, and the at-large council member, Alyssa Silverman, had a meeting with the chairman of the council today who's called the first hearing um, on homelessness in the new council session. Uh, and we intend to, to stay focused and report every day. But I'm thrilled to see this room so full because we know we have many hands working on the job. So it's my pleasure to turn the microphone over. Is that what I'm doing? Okay. Um, to the to Secretary the, and OMB Director, uh, Sean Donovan. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. We can do better than that, people. Good evening. Good evening. So, uh, Mayor, I want to say on behalf of the President of the United States, I accept your apology. <laughs> uh, what the mayor didn't say is that Laura Zeilinger was running homelessness for the entire country. And if you. It is just one signal of the incredible commitment that this new mayor has to this issue. And so let's give her a round of applause. Now, tonight you have here a remarkable group of public servants, not just from the city, but the, for the, from the federal government as well. And I want to recognize Deputy Secretary Core, Deputy Secretary Liu, uh, the under, Acting Undersecretary for Health of VA, Carolyn Clancy. Where is Carolyn? Is she here? Yeah, I'm totally ah, okay. Uh, Excellent. Um, and let me ask every federal employee who's here to raise their hands, please. And I would, I would just tell you, if you could look out around the country over these two weeks, we have cabinet secretaries who are fanned out around this country participating in this count. Tomorrow, the president's chief of staff, Dennis McDonough, is getting on a plane out to San Francisco. And this is a remarkable, remarkable, not just effort, but movement that we're seeing around this country. I started volunteering in a homeless shelter about three decades ago when I was a student in college. And if you'd asked me then that we would be gathering here tonight, not uh, in an effort to put a Band-Aid on this problem, but to literally end homelessness in this country, I would have said you're crazy. But when I walked in tonight, and this is the sixth year in a row I've been doing this, ever since the president started, when I walked in tonight and saw a line of volunteers waiting outside the door to come in and sign, look at this crowd that we've got here tonight. This is a movement, this is a movement that is building. Because if we can count them, 
if we can make contact with every homeless person in this country, ask them how they're doing, find out what they need, we can end this. This is a struggle that is person by person, family by family, and you are part of it, people. You are part of ending homelessness in this country. And under this president, the first president in the history of the country to make a commitment not to put a Band-Aid on the problem, but to end homelessness, we are going to do it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all you're doing. Let me, let me welcome up uh, a wonderful leader who, unfortunately, I did not get the chance to work with at HUD. Uh, she agreed to come to HUD, and then I got stolen away. It took her a little longer to get through the Senate than we might have expected. But she is here doing great things at HUD. Uh, Nani Coloretti, please come and address the crowd. Deputy Secretary at HUD. Thank you. Hello, volunteers. Hello. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to be out there with you, walking and talking to people and collecting data and doing our version of street outreach tonight. Um, so this is great. I did this in San Francisco. I did it a long time ago when it was first starting, um, the point in time count. And it has greatly advanced from then. <laughs> I mean, we, you know, there, there's really, when you, you know, you, maybe you've done this already, you know what you're doing, but this is a really fantastic process and data really matters. Um, we have a goal of ending homelessness and we happen to know from this data that chronic homelessness has gone down over 20% in the last five years. Veterans homelessness has gone down over 30% in the last five years. And we have at least two and maybe three cities that have ended veterans homelessness uh, in the last few years. So your work matters because your work is helping tell us how well we're doing and how well the federal government's doing, how well Mayor Bowser's gonna be doing, uh, and how well cities are doing to end, uh, end homelessness. So it's very important. Uh, and I just want to say also thank you, thank you for being here. And um, uh, former Secretary Donovan, um, he took my notes away from me, so he already thanked all the federal partners here. But um, I'm just I'm so proud to be working alongside of you and alongside everybody in this room. Thanks.